Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to apply the length function in R. So before we can apply the length function we need to create some example data and in the example I'm going to use this data here. So if you run this line of code you can see that at the upper right of our R studio the value x appears or in other words the data object x appears. Now we can also have a look at the data and uh, as you can see here at the bottom the data contains several numeric values. Now if we want to know the length of this data object we can use the length function as follows. So first we simply have to write length to our RStudio window. Then we have to open some parentheses and with, within these parentheses we have to write the name of, of our data. So in this case our example data is called x. So we have to write the value x here between the parentheses. Now if we run this line of code you can see that, that here at the bottom in the RStudio console the value 10 appears. And that actually means that the length of our data object is 10. So in other words, the data contains 10 numeric elements. Yeah, so as you can see, the application of the length function is uh, quite straightforward. It's not very difficult. However, there might be more complex situations in which we want to apply the length function. And if you want to know more about that, I can recommend to go on my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial on the length function and in this tutorial I'm also showing more examples for the application of the length function. Um, I will put a link to the tutorial below in the description of this video and then also if you want to learn more about R in general I can recommend to subscribe to my YouTube channel um, for more basic R tutorials in future. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you very much and see you next time for the next tutorial. Bye bye.